Hi guys, we're starting today's video in a little bit of a weird place. Um, I'm outside Michael's right now because I am doing a craft. You know me, every little bit I'm like, okay, well I saw this on TikTok so I'm gonna try it. And I think it's just the curse of being a creative person that you're like, I can do that. I, I probably shouldn't invest all the money in this, the materials and the time and all that, but I'm also like, I don't have anything else to do. So anyway, today we are going to try <laughs> painting on a leather or faux leather bag. So I got some leather paint. My next stop is gonna be um, a Goodwill or two just to see if we can find an option for a bag that we wanna paint on. Um, I just think it's really cool to like repurpose something and give it a new life and customize it a little bit to what you want. So that's what we're gonna do today. So. Come along with me and I'm going to kind of take you through the process like I did in my um, punch needle rug video. So there will be clips of, you know, as I go along and then the final result, hopefully, if it turns out right. So um, yeah, we're just going to get started. We're going to go um, scurry over to Goodwill and see what we can find. Okay, so that was surprisingly easy. I went into one Goodwill on my way home and found two bag options. So I got this silver like faux leather tote. I really wanted like a tote bag because it's flat, it's square, it's easy to like use as a canvas. And then I also found this one that is a Vince Camuto like brown tote with a black leather stripe down the center, uh, which I think could be fun to kind of play with a pattern like maybe wrapping behind it and over that black stripe in the in the middle. So really excited about these. And I feel like I see these kind of bags all the time at Goodwills. And I don't really know, I, they just look boring to me, but being able to like jazz them up, I think is gonna be so fun. So now we're headed home, we're gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna get started. Okay, so I went home, got all my paint set up and started with just a white base um, in the places that I wanted to paint. Went in with my color first for my checkerboard I really like the way it was turning out at this point. Now you can see I was filling in the black of the checkerboard and I added a black outline, but you'll see that changes in a little bit. I just didn't love it. It looked too harsh. Hi friends, same day, different headband. Um, I am now in the process of painting the chain on my bag. If you saw my little cutaway of designing my bag on my iPad, um, I always do this with projects where I get halfway through and I'm like, I don't know, this probably isn't going to work out. This isn't, this isn't going to be the one. It's, uh, and then somehow I usually pull it together. And I think adding the chain painting has been that moment where I'm like, okay, I'm starting to see it. I'm starting to see the vision come together. Anyway, so I'm going to probably finish the black checkerboard on the right side. I've already done the color part, but I'm going to fill in the black. And then it's still pretty early. I could start on the chain. I'm still jury's out on whether I'm going to do the back of the bag. Um, I probably won't for this one just because usually if I'm going to carry it, I'm going to carry it with this part facing out. And I really don't need the paint rubbing up against my clothes since I'm not, you know, I'm a newbie with this paint. I don't know whether I'm going to seal it correctly. Hopefully I will, but I would rather just take the precaution and not do the back. So yeah, um, I'll show you my next update. You guys, the chain. I mean, come on, look at it. Hello, we're back. Um, so still day two of this project. And I think I'll be done today um, because I'm not going to do the back or sides or anything. Um, I decided I was going to, if you saw in one of my other clips, I had black outlining the checkerboard part. Didn't like that. So luckily it was easy because I hadn't sealed it yet. It was easy to wipe it off with just like a like Lysol wipe type thing. Um, and then I decided because I love how the chain turned out that I would make almost like a gold... Um, edging look around the um, checkerboard part so I'm liking how that looks that's drying I just did the gloss finish over the chain and that's looking pretty good it didn't change it too much 
um, like the actual painting part of it. Uh, so hopefully it'll just seal it in. And then um, I should be able to fin like gloss finish the um, bottom corners, like the actual checkerboard part and the little gold edging that I did. And hopefully I'll probably just let it dry overnight tonight and then show you the grand reveal tomorrow. By the way, I thought I would mention what leather paint I'm using. I know the most popular and what I've seen in my research was the Angelus brand, um, but none of my stores around me had it in stock. It was only online. So I looked at Michael's and they ended up having uh, their, I'm guessing it's their brand of it. It's called Leather Studio, or it might be by, it's by Plaid. So Plaid makes other like acrylic paints, but these were specific for leather and vinyl and they did have the um, acrylic like uh, gloss sealer for afterwards so I just got like the basic primary colors and then I just mixed color because I have a background in art and I know color theory so I can just kind of mix to what to what I want um yeah so I just got basic red yellow blue um I got a very light tan just to like mute colors if I needed to, black and white, and then the the um, gloss sealer. So uh, Michaels, at least when I was doing it, had 40% off regular price purchases. So I have 40% off of all of it. So that was good. All right, guys, I'm in my closet now. Um, this is the first time I filmed in here and I kind of like it, but don't mind all of the red too much sun at the pool today oops um my bag is done and I wanted to show it to you right now I still have it stuffed with a pillow so that I could paint on it with it being full and like flat at the same time anyway are you ready are you ready to see it okay dun, 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 dun. Ta -da! I'm so excited I love the way it turned out I think the chain is so cool and like I said, I didn't do the back because that's going to be, you know, against me. So here's a little close up and bottom. I just think it's so cool. So I'm going to go ahead and take the pillow out and then show it on me. Now, obviously this is empty. Also, this tote bag handle is really short, so I would probably more so carry it like this. But how cool is this? Slouchy, it looks cool. It looks like the chain is like moving so my first painted bag and I wanted to go ahead and show you tonight because I'm already starting on my second one so stay tuned for that and I hope you guys love this video um I think it's cool to kind of see from the beginning to the end of a project the progression how things go and I hope you like my finished bag I'll see you in the next video bye